We aren't done with our union wins, folks. We aren't done with the union wins. Because we have yet to talk about, honestly, how historic this day has been. It has been a very, very special day. So, for those of you who don't know, today was the first time ever in American history that a sitting U.S. president has walked the picket line with striking workers in solidarity with striking workers. This is the first time that has ever happened. Joe Biden put on his walking shoes today and showed up in solidarity with the United Auto Workers. And that has, yeah, literally never happened before, Little Morphine Annie. Um, so here is, here is uh, Sean Fain speaking at the picket line w in front of Joe Biden. These CEOs sit in their offices. They sit in meetings. They make decisions. But we make the product. Yeah! They think they own the world, but we make it run. Yeah! The CEOs think the future belongs to them. Today belongs to the auto workers and the working class. That's what's different about working class people, all right. Let's go. Yeah, and again, I cannot emphasize this enough. This is the first time that has ever happened. Presidents have gone in to break strikes. They have gone in on, the, on behalf of the companies. They have never walked the picket line for workers. Not once until today.
let's keep going. You deserve sure. what you've earned, and you've earned a hell of a lot more than you're getting paid now. Thank you very much. Like, can we just take a moment here to appreciate the president of the United States showing up at your union picket line and telling the entire world, hey, these people are right, and they deserve to be paid far more than what they're pay being paid now. That's the leader of the free world right there. That's, that is the most powerful plan, man, arguably on the planet, showing up to support your cause. No gods, no malarkey. Why do politicians always say the middle class? Uh, because frankly, a lot of people don't want to consider themselves part of the working class, you know? It, like, they, they want to think of themselves as, you know, being fundamentally okay financially. And if you're part of the working class, you are not fundamentally financially okay. Biden and the Dems looking more progressive than the Labor Party. Oh, yeah, Sophie, 100%. L Labor is currently, like, on the backslide and, like, embracing, like, transphobia in order to, like, prop itself up. Uh, the UK is a mess. Is this just to balance out his bad optics with the railroad strike? I mean, honestly, it can be multiple things at once, right? It can absolutely be a move to, like, counter his bad image after the rail railroad worker strike and also a move that he genuinely believes in you know i think that biden for the most part and like i think through most of his history that i'm aware of has been pretty pro union um even even like as a senator you know like and did god he had problems as a senator but um I think the UAW didn't want to do the back channel thing. Yeah, no, they the UAW I I, I think basically did did some uh did some trickery behind the scenes to get him to show up in person. Um cuz I know initially Joe Biden wanted to send um like some of some of the key key members of his cabinet out to support the UAW in negotiation talks, but like in a more behind the scenes capacity. And I'm pretty sure the union basically told him to uh, take a hike with that stuff and either show up or shut up. And, uh, well, he showed up. Last I heard, two of the big three are at the negotiating table now, but one is not. This is the call to scare the big three to cutting a deal. Oh, yeah, 100% Gamer G. Like, after this, you don't want to be the company that is against the president. Have you seen their marketing campaigns most most auto manufacturer marketing campaigns are like your your big truck being driven across the, the you know the american the american you know desert or prairie land with like a an american flag fluttering on the horizon you know you don't you don't want to be like oh yeah we have all of that advertising lined up and also our enemy is the president no, no, that, that that doesn't work. That doesn't work at all. So the amount of leverage that this gives the, the union is incalculable. A truck in every pot, Jack. UAW has refused to endorse Biden and unions give a lot of money to the DNC. Sean Fain knows how to throw the union's power around. Yeah, yeah. The bigger the truck, the bigger the Patriot. <laughs> Michigan, Michigan is already a big swing state. Yeah, true, true. Also, it doesn't end there, okay? Because there were some follow-up question, questions to Joe Biden. Here's one of the best ones. 
Now, I don't know if you guys caught that. Let's see if we can isolate his response. Mr. President, should the UAW get a 40% increase? Yes. 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 Asked if UAW workers should get a 40% raise. Joe Biden echoed them saying yes. Oh, Sophie, I, I, I think about that all the time. Sean Fain and Sean Fain. <laughs> Did he say I think it should be more than that? Yep. Yeah, no, he, he did say, I think they should get more than that. But, like, keep in mind, he's fundamentally agreeing that they deserve at least a 40% raise. Like, just, oh my god, dude. Sh shows up, shows up, first president ever to walk a picket line, advocates for the workers to get a 40% raise. Let's go, dude. Let's go. Also, just relatedly, this is this is interesting. So, um, <clears throat> General Motors is apparently bringing in scabs to some of it, some of its struck plants. Okay, General Motors trying to subvert the strike by bringing in scabs and paying them fourteen dollars an hour. Here's uh, just a little video. <laughs> The, again, the, the striking workers just casually walking in front of the cars showing up at the plant to uh, fill it with scabs. See the line of cars? <laughs> y'all, y'all think y'all think you guys are getting you guys you guys think you're gonna get this Chad lad to move out from in front of your car? Nah, nah, you're not. So, fun fun fact, though, about the scabs that are being brought in by GM. It turns out GM is hiring scabs through a random, uh, random little forms that you can submit to. Now, I would never advocate for anyone to go to this website and fill out junk data to mess up their hiring process. But, um, you know, if, if anyone, oh, the website's under construction. Well, you know, if it ever comes back online, anyone who might be interested in, uh, you know, causing a little good trouble should, uh, go check it out, you know? You know, it's 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 good work filling these out, even if you never get hired. <laughs> Use a neural network on the captcha. Yeah. <laughs> In a video game, yes. See see how fast you can fill out the form for fun. You know, just as a little little scamp scampery. Pick up the phone, start playing the Solidarity Forever song. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, maybe, uh, maybe, maybe consider doing that.